Hey guys, Nico Man here and welcome back to another episode from Ravenhold. Today we are finishing the castle and I'm very excited for that. I'm also super excited to keep on expanding on this. Uh, I do want to add a little village on the plane in the front of the castle just to tie it all together nicely and have some more to work with because personally I'm loving this project. Probably one of my favorite projects so far. The style, the, the vibe we're creating, I'm really going to show you that later in today's episode. It's so unique so filled with this poor awful vibe kind of thing which really reflects on the lore that we have created for this so that is uh, so much fun if you don't know the lore i recommend watching the first two videos of the series here where we can discuss that further so you'll understand like the background for why we're building this or why the building looks like it is in a way and also if you enjoyed today's episode don't forget to hit that like button uh, I lately I've seen that the likes has gone a little bit down while the views have stayed pretty much constant so please it helps out the channel uh, it's the best way of showing support and yeah I really appreciate it guys so don't forget to hit that uh, like button and of course subscribe if you haven't the main parts we are doing today is the donjon which is the tallest part of the castle which is like this square building that goes up into this wooden top bit this is where we're gonna have the bedrooms the chambers for the lord the lady and the kids and, and stuff like that keep in mind that there's no kids here the lady is dead as we established in the lore so there's really just the lord's chamber and the rest is going to be pretty much empty which is kind of fun trying to make this a bonded kind of vibe that the rooms are just not being used anymore which i think is fun and then we're also doing a kitchen and some storage and a feast hall a big feast hall for this castle here again trying to make that old worn down and all that stuff is really fun so we're doing that and below there we're gonna have like some buttery stuff and wine storage and yeah and then the rest of the video is just me kind of finishing off the entire area on top of the hill here adding a lot of vegetation as we've done in the previous parts and then adding some statues uh, actually we're adding a statue for lady ada which is the girl that lord dennis like yeah, took the castle to be with. So he built her a statue or kind of a tomb in the middle of the castle courtyard here, which is kind of cool. And again, just place on the lore that we have created here. But guys, uh, let me finish off the time lapse here for today, and then I will take you for a first person point of view so we can check out everything. Why don't we start up here, flying with an overview of the castle here, so we can see everything kind of together here, and it's so cool, I really really like it, and I think the skyline works, it's like not too big, definitely not too posh, and it really fits the swampy area that we're in. Uh, so as you can see in the back there, that's the Don John and the temple that we built in today's episode and basically just tying everything up together here. So just gonna quickly fly around this area so you got uh, like a little bit of an idea of how it all kind of ties in. Of course you can get on the server and check it out for yourself if you want to. And all the information you need is down below in the description. So you can pop on here and just tour about, hang out, get some inspiration, count some blocks and all that stuff. Uh, if you want to So yeah, there we go uh, There's so many cool views now from I the inside of quarter here like this one here is one of my favorite ones When you see the Don John sticking up and then just seeing everything so overgrown so worn down and all that stuff and Yeah, I think like here is probably one of my favorite ways to look at it But also I really really like when you come from here and look this way I think that's also really, really cool, uh, seeing uh, everything just so broken down and stuff like that. What we gotta keep in mind though, is that it's in the lore, we kind of say that Lord Dennis goes into this dungeon uh, without setting it on fire, or the, the rest of the castle was kind of 
burnt and damaged, but the donjon is kind of intact. It's old, it's worn down, but it didn't purposely set it afl uh, aflame. So, and that's why this one is like less ruined than the rest of the castle here. But it's still very old, broken down, and definitely could need some uh, some money to uh, to make this uh, just fix it up a little bit. But yeah, that's what we have here. And then basically what I've done is uh, add just like things all over the place to make it feel alive. So we have this little chicken coop over here, which is some chicken running around playing in the overgrown grass here, which is kind of cool. And then. Uh, we have some storage and stuff on the side here, which I like. I really, really like this. I like the big facade over here. And then some guard towers. Very similar to the one we built in the previous episode. Which uh, overlooks the swamp here. Which is kind of nice. And yeah, just kind of tying stuff together over here. I'm going to show you the outside first, I do believe, before we go inside. And again, just the same kind of landscaping, the same kind of bushes here, very like swampy green, military green colors. I try to keep it like that and some brown and yeah, a little bit of red, but also a little bit of blue. I don't know why, but I really like that. And I think that's this is kind of a thing we discussed in the on the server here about maybe there's some blue stuff in the swamp that can be used to make uh, dye. Because there's some blue windows on this bit. And blue was very hard to come by in medieval times, so I, I just kind of added a few of these like almost blue flowers in here to, yeah, kind of play on that. And then we had a little farm here, another one. Uh, we did one over there, the last episode. And we just a little one here as well outside the feast hall, which again just adds a lot of atmosphere. And this will be like some bean beans, and I'm not really sure what this would be, but something you could eat. And yeah, just small stuff like this is what, in my opinion, makes the place feel alive and really has that poor vibe that we want to create because in like a rich castle wouldn't have to plant their own beans. You'd have someone outside to do that for you. So that is kind of cool. Then we have this statue right here. This is Lady Ada's tomb and I think it works. It kind of looks like a lady wearing like a cloak or something. Uh, and yeah, she would just be buried below here, which I kind of like. Adds a little bit of difference here. And, and as you can see, Lord Dennis has been out picking up flowers and planting some new flowers in this place here. Because these actually do have colors on them. There's some pink and purple and blue and yellow and stuff. So he's really been like trying to really praise her. He's really, really in love with Ada. So... Uh, well, he was. He, yeah, he kind of still is, I suppose. So, yeah, you can see he's putting in a little bit of effort here to to make it pretty for her. And then the road leads over here to the temple, which we did the last episode. But it also leads down here to a little area to sit in, inspired by Crow's Perch from the Witcher 3 game. And then the path leads down to this bit, which is... Oh, look at that. Whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, it leads down to... The, um, the basement so we have some meat being stored in here like this and then we have barrels of ale or beer and stuff like that in here it's kind of dark I did that on pur purpose and yeah just like a buttery winery wine cellar thing below here so I think that kind of works and I really like these kind of basements where we can actually walk from the main level so yeah, the, the road just like gradually go slopes downwards and then you go in below the feast hall here, so really like that. But uh, now let's check out what we have on the inside here. Uh, I think I'm going to check out the bottom part of the donjon first and then the feast hall and then we'll take the rest here. I uh, also want to point out this cool staircase here. I uh, spent a lot of time trying to figure this out. It was back and forth with different designs. And all that kind of stuff, but uh, eventually, together with some people on the server and myself, we we came up with this cool design here. So, very happy with that. But let's go in here. This is a little entry area. So, to the, the right here, we have like a pantry storage area. Straight ahead, we have a massive kitchen, and to the left, we have another hallway 
which is kind of grand, which leads us into the feast hall. So um, we're gonna go in here first. Uh, you can see it's still very broken down, a lot of cobwebs and stuff like that, but we have some vegetables, simple stuff from the garden, uh, potatoes, hops, things, yeah. Below here, I really like the walls, they're really thick. As you can see, we have this vaulted uh, indents or alcoves here for the windows, and has a nice atmosphere in here. Same goes for here, we have some eggs and some, yeah, flour, I suppose, and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, if we go through here then, we have the kitchen. And look how big it is. Uh, we have some nice vaulted ceilings, nice arches in here, and I think it's nice and moody. Fits the style and definitely big enough for a castle. But as you can see, it's the, the vault is decaying. We have some scaffolding up here to keep everything in place. But yeah, I really like this design as well for the fireplace here to like the barbecue area or the grill. I, th I think that's kind of what it's called. I don't know. Uh, but then we also have this big uh, oven here where you can cook stuff. So that's kind of cool. So we have two of those. Uh, we have some desk places to work on, like cupboards and stuff, and a big table in the middle to prepare the food. So that's kind of neat. And then from here, you can just take it straight through again into this hallway here, which we checked out. And then straight into the feast hall, which is over here. And this is one of my favorite parts of the castle. Uh, it's small, it's cozy, it's rustic, and it works. So, so what we have here is a big open room and we have some areas for the servants or his guests to sit and I, I kind of assume that Lord Dennis doesn't really get that many guests as we kind of have established he's not the most pleasant of people so um, but still there's room for some guests in here a nice fireplace to to keep it heated or hot in here heated yeah it's uh, it's relatively far south so it's not freezing, but still winter time probably would be a little cold. Uh, here we can actually see the banner. I don't think I've shown you this. It's like a golden raven on a black background. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. Uh, and it's not too shabby. And we have, yeah, Lord Dennis spot right here. Can sit out, talk and look at his guests. And yeah, kind of cool. Um, I don't think there's too much more to look at here. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, so now let's go outside again. And let's walk up this stair right here. So we'll get to the uh, top floors of the dungeon or the main keep area. So uh, what we'll see here, we have two bedrooms. One for the kids and one for Lady Ada. And none of them are really being used at the moment, but... And if we go straight ahead here, this is the kids' bedroom. So as you can see, like, the beds from the kids who used to live here, which uh, is no longer alive. I I'm not really sure if I would make Lord Dennis kill them or just kind of throw them out when he took the castle. So far, I haven't really been... I haven't been thinking that far, but at least the beds are just, like, stuck up here. All the stuff he doesn't need, just push it into the corner and he set up, like, a temporary talking area for... Um, yeah, I guess like his advisors and, and stuff like that and yeah allies so we don't have to go all the way up There's more stuff in the top of the building here, but he's a lazy dude. So just add like a little bit of a thing here And a nice little fireplace to Keep everything nice and warm in here So as you can see like it's very worn down you can see that from the texturing of the walls and a lot of cobwebs clear that Dennis isn't really taking care of this place and he doesn't have the money to take care of the place, I suppose. Empty shelves from the clothes for the kids just thrown out and stuff. So, yeah. Really trying to uh, to tell a story here. Uh, on the side here, we can see Lady Ada. The wonderful Lady Ada on uh, the pictures here. So, he has made some pictures of her. Put them up here. But this is... This is kind of sad. Let's bring... Um, yeah. A torch in here so uh, this is Lady Ada's room and she died like 10 20 years ago and Lord Dennis has just kind of kept the room exactly how it was but but as you can see it's it's getting old and she has her spinning wheel here like but our area as well so she could 
yeah, make some clothes and stuff. And her bed is now empty, there's nothing in here. And this would be the, the window she jumped out of to escape Lord Dennis. And yeah, it's kind of sad, but it, it's still kind of cool. Like, from a builder's perspective, it's so much fun to build these kind of stuff. But from the story's perspective, perspective it's it's kind of sad. But what I've done here, as you can see, is everything, like all the lights and stuff, is off. Uh, there's a lot of lanterns and candles around here, but none of them are lit. Again, just because no one is using this room, and I'd rather keep it dark than lighting up the rooms that are not being used, so... Yeah, but I, th I think that the room would look pretty nice if it was still intact. So that's kind of also kind of fun to make stuff to like indicate how well it was looking before it was ruined. Uh, I think that's also a lot of fun. But let's go up here. This is the third floor, I think. Yeah, this is where the master bedroom is. The suite of Lord Dennis. Uh, you can see the colors of the banner here. The uh, yellow orange thing and the black hanging over the bed here. And a nice big bed for him. There's some flowers again. They're dead. Doesn't really take care of them too much. Um, nice windows looking out here. And all the kind of stuff. There's a door here where we have a little bathroom and a uh, garderobe. So you can see it drops straight down there. So that's kind of neat. And we have, we have more stuff. Yeah, we have a bathtub over here. So that's kind of neat, because you, you, even though you, you're in a swamp, things might be smelly. It's good to keep clean, right? So we got that. And then in here we have like the guard rope. So uh, just some clothes and, and stuff in here for Lord Dennis to, uh, to look all pretty and stuff for no one. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, then, yeah, little seating area and a fireplace. Uh, right here. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, let's go this way actually. So what I added here is uh, very inspired by the cross perch. Uh, just like a balcony on the roof here. There's a few of those in cross perch. And uh, it's just kind of cool. And like if you role play this, it kind of gives you access to the roof. So yeah, it's just kind of fun little thing I added. Uh, just like a balcony here. And it's kind of convenient, it's right at the Lord's place, so we can just go out here and look over the courtyard and and see everything from here. But let's go this way here now. Again, messy stuff, like, I don't need the chairs, let's just throw them over here, kind of vibe, so <laughs> that's kind of what I'm trying to create here. But all the way up here, so this is like the top of the tower, and I kind of struggle with what to do here. But what I kind of figured out is that I'm going to make this... An area where the family could seek shelter in case of war and also add like some guest rooms and things up here it's quite big actually uh, but what we have we have this little sitting area over here this is where I'd assume maybe uh, yeah you'd p take your um, advisors or allies and people you want to do business with up and sit here and talk Instead of all the way down there, but Lord Dennis just made it easier since there's no kids here anymore And then I added this little bay window thing is sticking out so you can look through the telescope and Yeah, just kind of enjoy the, the view from here. It's not too shabby um, But yeah, and then we have a little like a living room a big chandelier here hanging from the ceiling like that and a small little office area for Lord Dennis to write some stuff, read some stuff, all that good stuff. Uh, in here is some storage, simple storage stuff, some shelves and stuff, but also a ladder going up to like the attic here, so and this kind of wraps around the entire place uh, and it's just like stuff up here, things you don't really need anymore, just stack it up here in a way, so yeah, you can see that. Uh, also, the roof is kind of falling apart. So there's some moss growing on the inside here. Some ravens that uh, seek shelter in here. And that kind of stuff we like at this place. 
But if we go through here, uh, we have this little door, which goes into, like, this would be where, so in case of war or siege or something, uh, the Lord could use this as a shelter, or there's a bed here you could sleep in, and some for the kids and stuff. Um, and it could also be used as the guest room if you have some big guests over. But right now it's not being used. Uh, some of the beds are just really empty and some of them are just not, yeah, cleaned up. And yeah, just like a little area for that. And then in the back here again, just a little bathroom adjacent to that because you need that. So, some areas to, yeah, wash yourself, all that kind of stuff and a little toilet thing. Toilet pot. So yeah, that is pretty much what we have done today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy that. Let's go outside and just take a quick flyby. I do believe that we have covered everything. Um, yeah, I think we do. So uh, guys, really hope that you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman, and I'm out. <laughs>